the first time. Second tough climb from from plumbing down there. The power plant. And we are climbing up to the top of this first top almost a thousand meters top like seven eight hundred meters. And then after that we're going to descend to most in the beach. It's gonna be fun. several times here at this course. Never seen this. Wow. Check this out. <laughs> Amazing. So we are like 20k on the course. 20 meters. It's windy. It's not that cold. Barkley Marathon Tira foto bien Tremendo sto posto qua. Ah. 
acqua sembra un sentiero dei tropicali dio bello andiamo avanti ah. Yeah, it's like 11 o'clock, something like that, and we're climbing in the dark, well, to the top of the whole course, and now we are at 470 meters. So we have a little bit less than 1000 meters to climb. So this is going to be a shit show. I'm gonna take it easy. And yeah, stay alive, stay alive. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> See ya. Good morning. So we just went down from uh, the Gomera Peak, and I was really tired, sleepy, and you know having a hard time. But on the top it was windy, and it was I had a blast down <laughs> down hitting and we ran really fast and yeah I'm looking forward to reach the next checkpoint and I hope to get some coffee or something yeah anyhow otherwise everything cool I feel quite okay, apart from being sleepy. So little bit sleepy. But this is part of the game. But hey, it's daylight again. <sighs> it's nice seeing the, the birds singing. Lovely. Just love that. Check my watch. So it's exactly 80 kilometers right now. It took me 12 hours and like 13 hours, something like that. We had a huge mist. I mean, we couldn't see anything, so we had to. Yeah, well, walk, run, safely, and I couldn't even see the markings. I did a few wrong turns, short ones, but uh, yeah, well, I'm okay. But I noticed that many stopped, turned around, and you know. People talking about really nice. Anyhow, many that I heard uh, already in Mosinichka Draga when we went down to the beach, that many dropped. You know, yeah, it was tough downhill to the beach, and then the uphill to 
Utica from sea level to 1,400 meters. I mean, it's epic. It's like a trademark of this race now, you know, because before they had another course, it was a bit easier, I guess, without that uh, climb, which is a monster. But hey, uh, I was okay. Not now, but back there, yeah. So, I take this with slowly now. Stones are a little bit slippery, not that much as before. It's good that it's, it's a little bit windy. So, potentially drying the rocks and I hope that after Buzet, the hull of the race, I hope that it's gonna be a little bit more runnable in order to pick some time. I mean, I wanted to do another race, but hey, <laughs> you can't do anything with the weather. The weather. I mean, you get what you get. Check this out. Lovely. Now, this is really easy running here. Back there on the mountain. Wow. That was really some technical shit. And potentially dangerous. You could fall and hurt yourself and everything. So, yeah. I mean, it was not only me. Everybody took it pretty slowly. And as you may notice, nobody's around me. And I passed a few runners before, completely dead walking. Yeah, more shape than I am. This is really nice here. Check this out. Flintstones. Now I am heading down to the next checkpoint. 83 came with 83 or something I guess I didn't even check the chart nor didn't even plan the race no. let's just take it as it evolves the course has been changed there as I told you before, the huge climb and the downhill, which potentially can trash your legs. And then, because of that, they had to change a bit as well in the middle of the race, which is going to be new for me, but it's good. I like changes. Well, Alright, I'm gonna try to run a bit here, pick some time, so I have to put away the camera and use my poles to get some extra stability. Okay. Alright, see ya!
We are in Buzet. I'm in Buzet. <laughs> Trying to own right now. And back there is Jvevnica. There. The mountain I was just minutes ago. Not really. Hours ago. <laughs> Anyways, the downhill went okay. I feel okay. So, looking forward to eat something warm, change some clothes, and yeah, move on. Yep. We are descending and I'm heading to the Butaniga station, A station, and I have to say that I'm impressed how my legs are working today because if you consider that in Gothenburg the highest hill is like 100, 120 meters or so so and I didn't do any specific hill training so this one was kind of an experiment and so far so good I mean okay I didn't go hard I saved my legs but anyhow you have to climb you have to descend you have to yeah you have to do that so the meters are there and right now i have 5400 so that's a lot in a little bit more than 100k and I'm still running, which is good. So I'm not gonna achieve my goal. Actually, that one was, yeah, I was thinking like the old course, which maybe could be done but with this one. No way. I mean, it's, it's way tougher, but it's, it has its, charm I kind of like that the huge climb as I told before I mean it's kind of a trademark right now of this race there are not many races with climbs like those around yeah in the Alps maybe but yeah that's it maybe few more in the world like Nepal or the States anyhow climb one more climb uh, one more climb yeah climbs downwards yay see ya Niga Lake. Almost there. What a 
tough one. But interesting variation of the course, actually. Unfortunately, I don't think that you can swim in that lake or do any activities because they take the water out of here. So I think that's just not allowed. I think that's written somewhere on there as well and on the website. So down there is the A station on the other side. Almost the end of the mask climb. This is a tough one, and uh, now we're heading to Motowon, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. See so there, there. So this is Motowon. Heading there. Last stop before the end of the race. Booyah! <laughs> 